is that? Cat shit for a cat that you actually weren't allowed to have. So we've got a tenant who's moved out. She was supposed to be out four days ago. Fingers crossed that things go to plan, but unfortunately I'm not holding my breath. Oh, great. The bubble of hope is immediately burst and non-commissioned artwork will need addressing, as will the tenant's free jazz approach to landscaping. This all needs to be pulled out, so this was nice and tidy when the tenant moved in. The promise of reasonable garden maintenance clearly hasn't been kept. I've been left some drinks. I think I'm probably going to need it after this. You know, I want a vodka. And we have some Barocca. A lot of cigarette butts over here. Look at this, this is all grease. Not grease and musical, grease and barbecue. There's been some kind of party here, but looking at the empty paint tins, wooden pallets and light scaffolding, Possibly the former residents got the regrets and worked up a reno storm inside. They didn't. This was a brand new door. So I'm on my way to this property that we've taken over from the owner. She had a bit of a nightmare tenant in there and we were more than happy to step in and assist her. I arrived at the property to complete the final inspection. The tenant actually hadn't left and she became quite confrontational. Uh, she was pushing me a bit, she was abusing me. I actually had to call the police to help me. So today I'm going in to see what's been left behind and what we've got to deal with. Oh, wow. That's a strong smell. It would appear our tenant has been smoking inside the property. There's no way Kim can rent this place out as it is. It stinks like a Gold Coast sports bar in the 1980s. Carpet's are absolutely filthy. But there's also a whiff of Soviet-era KGB paranoia here too. So in the last week of this tenant's tenancy with us, she accused me of all sorts of lovely things, including hiding in the bushes, planting cameras. So she's torn out the fibre box out of the wall over here. She's ripped it off here. She's cut the cable. So we'll have to have Chorus come out and repair that before the next tenant moves in. So everything looks OK outside. Oh, what do we got happening there? A satellite cable severed. Oh, that's interesting. This is our TV aerial, which is meant to be connected up there on the house. Looks like she's cut that in one of her attacks as well. It's now all on Kim to find out how deep this deep state wormhole goes. An Invercargill Inspire property manager Tracy has just taken the grand tour of a ghastly garden at one of her rentals. Oh, awesome. A whole lot of cigarette butts all down here as well. She's hoping the empty paint tins and scaffolding mean the inside is freshly renovated. Unfortunately, they don't. This is the door frame that was broken. So this whole patch has been repaired really, really badly. But it's going to cost $721, I got to quote, to fix that door, which is a real pity it's coming out of her bond again. And while there's no sign of renovation, there is sign of defecation. Ooh, nothing smells. What is that? Cat shit for a cat that you actually weren't allowed to have. Oh, I just don't need this shit. Do I dare look at the oven? Well, that's a pretty average job. There's only one word to sum up how Tracy's feeling. Shit. But help's on the horizon. Oh, cool. They've left me some quickies. I think I'm probably going to need that for my stomach upset, which I'm about to get. It's possible something might come out of Tracy's stomach, but something might come out of the tenant's bond instead. Like these curtains were brand new. So that's food stains. Would you want to shift into that if you were a tenant? I know I wouldn't, so there's another thing that's coming out of her bond. If she'd cleaned all this, I'd be happy to give her bond back, but it clearly hasn't been done. So, oh, here's the toilet. There's a bit of shit on that wall. Nobody blames a cat for crapping on the carpet, but humans crapping on the walls is an entirely different proposition. That is shit, I guarantee it. Cat excrement, human excrement, responsibility abandonment. Tracy is furious. What the who is this? On Auckland's North Shore, Home Sweet Home's Kim is conducting a post-eviction inspection where the ex-tenant was convinced she was being spied on. So she's torn out the fibre box out of the wall over here. Far from being an isolated event, there is evidence she may have also cut a hole in the lining, 
to ensure no hidden recording devices were planted there. Unfortunately, we'll now have to get in a professional painter to come and make this wall better. In this cupboard, all the hallmarks of chain smoking. It's entirely possible the tenant thought the hot water cylinder was actually an elaborate infrared scanner. We've got all this lovely filth that the cleaners will need to come in and clean up for us. In the bathroom, more holes and removed items as anti-surveillance measures stepped up. But more holes. More holes. I think we had a shelf sitting across here. Down here we had a handrail, which she's removed. And the toilet roll holder she's removed. On their own, each disfigurement of this expensive Auckland asset seems minor, but put together in context, they are massive. The former tenant has cost the landlord time and money and a large headache. It's going to be an expensive fix. Unfortunately, we'll have to get some trades in there to help us get the property ready. So I'll give our lovely carpet cleaner a call, our cleaners, some nicotine cleaners, um, and then perhaps we'll get in a builder to do some plastering and painting for us. Um, and then the property will be ready for new tenants, and hopefully we'll be able to get some advertising up and find a new tenant for our lovely owner very soon. In West Auckland, a month of strong winds has coincided with an ill wind for one property investor. He's had to evict a tenant from this house, then call police to remove a squatter, prior to calling property manager Tracy Lee from A grade to come and help pick up the pieces, some of which are lying on the driveway. Hooey. There was a squatter, I'm famous for squatters. Um, somebody's relative of somebody's relative of somebody's relative moved in. Um, they've gone. The mattresses have destroyed the grass. We've still got mattresses to go. Loads of rubbish, and we'll go around the back and see what's happening there. Around the back, more unsightly beds. In this case, garden beds neglected. Gosh, this hasn't been mown in a while. My pony would like this. So we've got quite a nice family home. Looks to me like it's been underappreciated. Certainly the lawns need to be done. OK, we'll see what we've got inside. Unbelievably, the grass is greener on the inside. Not a good sign when you've got a lot of spotting on the oven, but it's often just... Um, Mary Jane? Well, not just. Ganja? It's oil rather than the real nasty stuff. The now absent squatter was clearly fond of that old New Zealand delicacy, jazz cabbage. Is that marijuana? Even the bathroom is themed blue meanie, psychedelic blue. Ooh. You might want to come in here if you were feeling a bit tender in the mornings. I don't know, I'm a bit square. She may be square, but she's not stupid. Tracy Lee knows exactly how this squatter got in. So um, there's probably no prizes for guessing how they broke in. For persons of no fixed abodes, the squatters certainly made themselves at home. Bathrobe in the sink, dirty toothbrushes and things on the shelves, toys on the floor. They clearly had time for TV, walks, weed and golf, but not vacuuming. There's so many families wanting nice, safe rentals, but it's, um, it's just a shame when people abuse the privilege and, you know, there's a potential for properties to be taken off the market and sold. There's a bit of shit on that wall. In Invercargill, Tracy from Inspire Property Management has just been to the toilet at one of her rentals. What the who is this? Eyes cast downward, along with her general mood, Tracy's eagle eyes pick up something more than poo, stains. Looking at my photos, yep, this is new. This is new. This is new. This. This, 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 stopping counting now. The stain count is unsustainable. There's more marks here than a German bank. But are they from other animal crevices or something else? So disappointing. The contents of this cacked on carpet must be identified. Look at this one. That's oil. Why is there oil in front of a fire? Tracy gets the answer in the most unlikely of places, the wheelie bin. Oh, awesome. Car motor in a recycling bin. It appears the tenant may have converted the lounge into a mechanic's workshop, but forgot the drop tray. I'm pretty sure that there won't be any bond being returned at this stage. Clearly got a lot of work to be done, so I need to get cracking onto it. I need to get cleaners in, followed by carpet cleaners. Hopefully this comes through. I need to get the locks changed because the tenant hasn't given me back her keys. 
Um, so all the stuff is unnecessary for both me and the tenant. So it's just really disappointing. On Auckland's North Shore, Home Sweet Home Property Management's Kim and Lee are busy packing Christmas goodies, gifted by their tenants for the Auckland City Mission. But they're out on the road a few days later to check on the clean-up of their rental, where a paranoid tenant fell out with her overly trusting landlord, resulting in a call to Home Sweet Home for help. Kim's moved heaven and earth to find a tenant to move in, limiting any rental damage loss to the owner. Oh, so this smells and, well, it looks a lot better than when I came last time. It's all been cleaned lovely. The holes in the walls have been filled and painted. It's looking good. Cigarette ash and bad smells removed. And that's great. The communication device is restored. Looks like the aerial's been fixed, which is good. And the place generally returned to its original splendour. So the place is looking great. Our trades have come in and they've cleaned the house up well and it's all ready for our new tenant. Don't you agree? Yeah, looks great. We'll just lock up and we'll get out of here. In Henderson, A-grade property manager Tracy is returning to the squatter-infested house with window damage, cannabis damage and wall damage. Someone's managed to clear out the junk, which is just waiting for collection shortly. The owner's anxious to make some money from this property. Uh, we haven't been able to tenant it for a few weeks, so the gardens have been done, the lawns are mown, that's looking better. The wet mattresses are gone, that's a big deal. So we'll just pop up and see what's happening at the back. Oh, wow, nice. The backyard is less jungle and more jungle gym. We had the um, A-grade maintenance team in yesterday, which uh, we're blessed to have quite a few on our books, and um, they've picked up debris, they've mown lawns, they've weed-eated, they've really given this a good go-over. Oh, smells better. The empty booze bottles, all gone. That's nice. And in here, we did have a, oh, that's all empty as well. That's fabulous. We had somebody's bathrobe, which I'm sure nobody else wanted. We had clothes up here, rubbish on the floor. So the bathroom's empty. Nobody wants anybody else's bathroom items. With all the junk removed, new carpets can be run throughout before new tenants run in to turn the place into a home. The cabinetry's gone. The clothing that was lying around is gone. And the window's back in. Tracy Lee's thrilled to see the front door's been repaired after the squatter forced entry. This has got a heat pump, it's got a fully fenced garden, fruit trees, toys, veggie garden, nice gas stove for cooking. It's, it's a really good solid rental. In Invercargill, it's another day in the big chair for Tracy at Inspire Property Management. She's heading back to the rental where her former tenant let her down by moving out without cleaning out. The weather may be inclement, but Tracy's been assured this property will be more than just up to scratch. Oh, it's nice and warm. So we had to replace basically that whole portion there was all completely gone. So we replaced that, I had to get the painter in, had to repair the hole that was in the back of the wall here, stick a door stop in. There was marks up the carpet here as well. Tracy's carpet cleaners have hit a home run. Wow, even smells good in here. Just feels like a home. So this carpet down here was had big marks through it. It's looking nice and tidy now. This looks great. So much tidier. Oh, look at this. Looks really homely, even with some plants on the front. One happy property manager. And the bouquets keep on coming. And the bathroom. Oh, it looks awesome. Everything's clean. But what about the bog? So, the toilet. Last time I was here, there was shit up the wall. Fingers crossed. Hey! Like I knew it would be. Nice and clean, and it smells pretty. So, all in all, yeah, exactly as I expected. Got a great tenant here. Long may that continue. <laughs>